Hey, lovely. <laughs> I've got this little bit of hair sticking up, I'm getting my hair done in about 15 minutes. So I thought, sorry, this is like really ridiculous, but that's going to really bug me. Just need to sort that out. Let's tuck that in there. There we go. Hi, <laughs> it's Susie Ashworth here, Mind Shift and Messaging Mentor. And I wanted to hop on really, really quickly because one of my lovely Limitless Life Experience clients put up a gorgeous post earlier on, but she started it with the question, or maybe ended it by saying sometimes, hey Mimi, I think I might want too much. And a little bit of my heart just broke. And I think that this is a really, really common theme, not just with her, but with so many of us, particularly so many of us women, feeling embarrassed, guilty, ashamed, greedy, like, who the hell are you to have desires above this? I'm gonna, I was gonna say self imposed, but sometimes it's not self imposed, sometimes it's you know, with the limitations that other people have put on us as hey, Christy, as we are growing up. And so, when somebody like me comes along and says, What do you want? Why are you thinking small? Why aren't you stretching beyond your comfort zone? Why aren't you going bigger? What happens is that people want to contract. They want to, or without even wanting, they do contract. They get tighter. They feel overwhelmed. And just a whole sense of shame and wrongness about wanting something bigger. And my mentor, one of my mentors said to me the other day, when I was thinking about my goals and thinking about the fact that my goal beyond my um, um, more superficial goal is to create a foundation. And I was saying, if I want to create a foundation, I want to buy a flat, then, you know, what do I do? What do I focus on? And she just said to me, remember, Susie, you can have it all. And, you know, that's her message. And I think that we tell ourselves that it has to be one thing or the other. It has to be our kids or our career. It has to be our um, partner or the holiday or whatever it is. We think that we have to choose all of the time. And I want to say that that's not true that it is completely safe to want to embrace all of your desires. And sometimes we have to play around with the fact that maybe we can't have it all right at the same time. Like you can't, it's like we don't want all of the food that we have ever wanted in our whole entire life all on the same plate at the same time. But it is totally okay to want to have a slap up meal one day and a barbecue the next. You don't have to choose. I want you to give yourself permission to desire what it is that you want to desire. And so many of the people that I work with and who are attracted to my message, you want to do great things. It's not even about the stuff that you want for yourself. The stuff is just the stuff is just the stuff. You know, behind the stuff is the fact that you want to create. Oh, I'm going to have to go with a set because my kiddies are back from swimming. Um, um, you want to create a massive impact. You want to help hundreds, if not thousands, of people, and sometimes even hundreds of thousands of people. Hey. Aww. And I want to tell you that it's safe for you to want that. Who are you not to do that? Your voice matters, your message matters, and it's safe for you to desire what it is that you desire. Your job is to work out what you need to put in place 
that is going to support you to create what you want to create for the highest good of everybody around you. Simple. It's not that simple. <laughs> it is. The concept is simple. Sometimes that is challenging. But I want you to know that don't be ashamed. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel embarrassed. You want more than what you have. Because I know that for everybody on here, that when you hear more, that it's not just about the stuff. I also want to say that it's okay to want stuff. It's okay to want stuff. You don't have to be ashamed about wanting stuff. But I absolutely know behind all of the stuff is a desire for you to make a massive impact on that desire. Mimi, fuck, I was having this conversation with my sister today that I'm so stuck because, stuck because I feel I have to do it all and it's exhausting. I've been told don't do it all or you'll burn out. Prioritise. What's the most important thing that you want to do? What's the thing that's going to give you most satisfaction right now? And then write out all of the other stuff. And Mimi, please feel free to do this in our group and share where you need help in deciding what the priorities are. If you need help, deciding on what the priorities are. And don't be afraid to map it out. Like I was saying on our call this morning, in order, sometimes in order to kind of get that clarity, you have to map out, this is what I'll be focusing on for this year. And this is going to set me up to do this next year and this the year after. Five-year plans don't have to be scary, particularly when you want to do all the things, particularly when you have a big vision. Map it out. Right, you gorgeous people. Mwah. Thank you for listening to me and I will see you next time. Mwah.